Let's have a beautiful experience. In this video, we're going to talk about how time travel can actually help you manifest a bigger penis. It's a beautiful thing. You got to love it. All right, before we get started here, please do me a huge, huge favor. Please ring the bell, you know, subscribe to the channel, tell some friends. And of course, follow me on my social media. I go by Jesus underscore Detroit on my Instagram, Snapchat, I'm Young Dago. And that's right, that might sound like a crazy intro about time travel, but this is something that came to me in a dream and you can actually manifest a bigger piece. And that's what we're all about here in the BCC. You know, we're about manifesting our best. I can help you, you know, grow your penis bigger, thicker, wider, longer, stronger, and harder. And if you need any one-on-one -on -one coaching or any type of, you know, diet plans and all that more in-depth details, please get in my DMs and hit me up and I'll help you manifest the best. So without further ado, what I'm telling you here is this crazy dream that I had last night that's inspiring me to just share with the collective right now is all about time travel. And, you know, at, at one part, you know, my dreams are a lot like a Quentin Tarantino uh, film sometimes. You know what I mean? I feel being a movie writer might be in my blood. Or, anything's possible, you know what I mean? So, be as it may, you know, I had a whole bunch of collective dreams that are just get me to the scene where I'm co where I'm coming to and at one point I'm like in Cancun or some part of Mexico and it's just like I could taste the blue like it was so blue like I'm talking like at one point I'm talking to my uh, my paisan and like the, this is back you know this is from back when uh, you know next thing you know we're going uh, I'm in Cancun and I could like just I could take it was so blue and vivid and I could taste it and I just remember you know I was either on a TV show and like I'm watching this Facebook feed and I wasn't even like like it's not even like I was uh, watch like watching Facebook I was like just like looking at what Facebook is if that makes any sense whatsoever it was more or less like I'm just looking at like this crazy wedding that was going on and I was in it and like like my uh, my paisan his, his brother had this crazy wedding and i just remember like seeing all these blue pictures and i'm like man i'm like that's really blue and i just remember just appearing into that like cancun or wherever tulum wherever we were at and it was just like i could taste the blue like it was like it was crazy like you could it was like a haze and it's kind of like you know it was like a, a dimensional thing regardless because it may where we come into is the next part of my dream, which is when I woke up and I was somebody else. Now that was crazy to me. Like I woke up and it was like, um, felt like it could have been the future, right? And like this house was like floating, all right, with like propellers underneath it, like <laughs> floating house. And... Uh, it sounded like Mo Sizzlag from The Simpsons was talking about, you know, telling somebody to keep their dog in the house. And I don't know what was going on. And next thing you know, I'm in this house, right? And it felt like the 60s. It felt like I was in 1967. I don't know how I got that year. It was just what was appearing at the time. And I remember looking in the mirror, and I wasn't me. I was this 10-year-old like white leave it to beaver looking chunky white uh kid and i always just remember thinking i'm like what happened to me like i'm like and then i go wait a minute i'm like essentially i am me i'm the light like you know what i mean i'm i'm this like whatever's in here i was in something else i was in this 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 white kid this chunky like this uh leave it to beaver kid and i was just like you know i was blown away i'm like like at first I like I, I was neutral to the idea. I'm like, all right, what am I gonna? And then I'm like, what am I gonna do? And I remember I remember I'm talking to like what the brothers of this body was, and that really kind of like connected with me. I'm like the brothers of this body, the family of this body. So it was kind of like wow, like this is, you know, the light that's in here, and I'm talking about, you know, whatever this body is. And I'm just going with, like, all right, 
I can do anything that I want right now. And I remember, like, I'm, I'm talking to, like, one of my older brothers or whatever, and he was, like, you know, kind of like a rocker-looking guy. And I was just looking in the mirror, and I'm like, man, I'm like, I don't know if I look too good. And he's like, dude, you don't look, he's like, he's like, you look, he's like, you don't look too bad yourself. And it was coming from, like, some Matthew McConaughey-looking guy. He's like, he's like, hey, man, you don't look too bad yourself or whatever he said. And he's like, all right, all right. It was something along those lines that I was feeling, and I, you know, I was vibing out. And then I remember the body that I was in, like, I'm, I'm in the past, you know, and this, this body... Uh, died from a heroin overdose and I'm just like wow I'm like I'm like this kid that I'm looking at in the mirror died from a from a heroin overdose and now I'm in this and I got to change this and that kind of like correlates into what this video really inspired me to is I'm like I can change this body I can change who I am and I remember I just ran outside and I said I'm gonna be a rock star that was the first thing I said because of the time, like it was like the, it felt like it could have been the 50s or 60s, whenever it was. I was just like, I'm running down the street and I'm looking for a guitar and I'm singing, that's all right, mama, that's all right, yeah. And I thought it was like, you know, it kind of reminded me of, um, you know, like the Forrest Gump times or whatever. Because by the time I got to the end of the street, there was this huge bonfire going on. And first they cleared it out with some smoke so the animals could leave crazy and next thing you know they got it lit it was getting lit and the next it was you got a bonfire and i'm talking to these people at the end of my street and they were like these mexican guys and um you know we're, we're talking and like you know before that dream apparently i was in mexico maybe and you know i'm asking about vietnam Viet vietnam that's how i was saying it Vietnam, I don't know why, Viet, I was saying Vietnam, you know what I mean? So I was afraid of the draft, like that was one of the first things in my head. And, you know, the guy, my brother I'm talking to had a kid, and I'm like, what do I got to do to avoid the draft? And I, I don't know, like, timelines of where I'm at and, like, when Vietnam really was, but I think it was somewhere in the 60s, 70s era, and I knew that, you know, being a baby boomer type of body, like, this kid might end up in Vietnam, and I didn't want to do that. So I'm figuring out what I got to do, and I remember this cat comes up to me, and it kind of signified, like, it reminded me of, like, something with time travel. And I'm like, maybe I'm going to change this kid's life for the better, and that is really what I'm getting to with this whole story, is more or less that at any given time, you can change your story. You can change your body. You can change your penis. You know what I mean. And that, that's a crazy. It might sound crazy. I know my dreams are all over the place, man. And you know they really inspire me and they really get me wired up and all. Uh, you know, excited to really share them with people. And I'm happy and grateful that I get to have these dreams because, like I say, you know I'm a I'm an astral warrior. You know, when I go to sleep, I'm dripping that DMT. I'm a sleep sorcerer and. You know, some people got to snort for it, jab a vein for it, smoke for it. All I got to do is sleep. And I'm like, I'm battling it out in these realms. I got movies that are being written and I'm living these crazy dreams and I'm able to share them with you. And, you know, it kind of reminds me of this comedian that had a joke where he went to the video store to, to rent one of his dreams. And, you know, that's how, I, that's how this dream felt, man. It was really, it felt real at the time. And being, waking up as somebody else really kind of lets you know that we're more than these bodies man we are you know everything that's in here is where you know is where everything's gonna appear you know what i mean so i always go with this philosophy you know if you want beauty to appear keep this clear you know type that down i say this in a lot of my videos and i'm serious about it man have some fun with it man because it's just like if you want you know if you want to feel beautiful you got to keep your mind clear don't get so attached to everything that comes your way. It's like you can get lost with your dream. Or some people don't even have the ability to dream. And I just want to tell you that, you know, you essentially whatever you think you can or you can't is the answer that you're living. It's the self-proclaimed manifestation of what we're going with. And that's why I really feel time travel is possible. And essentially that there is only such thing as now. There is only right now. This now, that now, now. The now that we're in is the now that we're feeling and the now that only exists. So you can change where you're at now and your future self is going to thank you later. And that's that's really what I got out of that, man. It's really about, you know, 
first of all, like keeping your karma clear, keeping your head clear, and you know, like that's what I go with, man. You know, I do I do uh, ho'oponopono, Hawaiian practice. I preach this a lot in some of my videos. The four phrases where if anybody's ever done you wrong or if you felt wrong or whatever, you know, you don't got to go up to the person and say this. Just go inside. Because this is where the universe lies, and all you got to do is say this, man. You say, I am sorry, because you got to take ownership for either doing something or feeling something. Please forgive me, because you got to ask for forgiveness. You got to say thank you, because gratitude's the attitude. Every day that you wake up and you take that breath and you take that step, you got to give thanks, praise, and just be happy to be living. Be happy that you got another shot. Type that down right now. I'm happy that I got another shot. And that's what I go with every day that I'm going to keep my skin glowing, hair flowing, and body knowing and growing. That we got a shot here. You know, that breath makes beauty appear. And the last phrase that you got to say is, I love you. All right? You got to come from the heart. Everything that I do, man, I really try, you know, I intend on coming from the heart. And I follow my chakra system. You got the crown, the third eye. You got your heart, man. This is like the this is the center, man. This is where all the power comes to. And you know your penis is on the root. And you know I always send love into my penis. And then whenever I do my you know my towel practices, I go with the Wu Wei flow of the day. And you know I'll make sure you know I whenever um, you know I do semen retention. You know I do super edging. These are techniques that I can go into more details in the BCC if you need some extra help. And it all comes down to getting that you know getting that huge piece of meat that's swinging at the knees. You pop it up to the pecs, get it throbbing hard as hard as you can, and you keep pulling on the top and making that thing grow. You command it to grow. You feel it grow. And when great right when you're about to release that ejaculation load, you set you you back it off and send it up into your body it takes practice to do this and i can teach you along the way but more or less that is the you know that's how it goes man and that's how it grows so with that you can use these techniques along with keeping your head clear and keeping your body and mind in one keeping you knowing that you have the shot and the chance to grow and essentially that we're back in time right now and, you know, like, is there a way that we can do, it? like, you know, Marty McFly, Back to the Future, you know, call Doc. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, is that possible? Anything's possible, man. I'm not saying that it is or it isn't. But all I know that if you want your dreams to come into fruition, you got to understand that you're back in time right now. And, you know, do your best to make yourself the best. And I'm here to help. I'm here to help you. That's really what I'm getting at, man. And was really inspired to share this to share this with you um you know just believe in who you are man you know understand that we're all from the stars i want to tell you guys that i love you i want to make sure and i intend that you guys love yourselves because that's really what this all comes down to i woke up as some leave it to beaver kid and i still had this light inside me and I was giving it the love that it needed. And I knew that that kid, whatever it was, was going to manifest to be a rock star. And that really correlates to where I'm at in my life, to, you know, becoming my best version and, you know, showing the collective what is possible and helping the collective grow. Because that's what we're here to do. We're here, we're here to become our best, man. We're here to become huge. We're here to be giants, man. We're here to be massive mounds of muscle with a huge mass of pieces of meat swinging at the knees being the best we can be and i just want you to know and i intend on you to grow man this is what it's about man i love you guys man the universe is a mirror everything that's in me is in you and you know in between too like and apparently when you taste you can taste the blue and that's that's something that really uh definitely inspired me man all this blue stuff that's around me like it's letting you know man that there's dimensions in between and by me tasting that that's really letting me know that there's stuff out there and i can tell you that you know have i messed around with some psychedelics in my time i have you know but i'm not like uh you know it's not like i've done any ayahuasca ceremonies yet or any type of things like that you know like i say man I'm, i drip the dmt when i go to sleep naturally so when I do, you know, go through these, um, you know, these ceremonies that I eventually will uh, partake in, I'm not, you know, scheduling it in. I know it's going to happen one way or another. 
I have the mind that can handle it, you know what I mean? And this is what I say about any drug, any type of drug that you take, especially like, you know, weed or, like, this is my philosophy with it. You've got to have this clear for takeoff. All right, you want to fly high? You got to have, you got to make sure that runway's clear. So if you got all these stress and whatever type of things that are in the way blocking up that runway, it's gonna be a jagged start to get to the to get to the top, or it's gonna be a hell of a ride while you're up there. So keep that runway clear, man, and you're gonna have beauty appear, guaranteed. And you know, just go with the ride. Just understand that if you're on any type of drug, whether it's psychedelics, just know that it's not gonna be forever, man. It's only a moment. You know, you can always remind yourself that. And that kind of correlates to life too, man. We're only here for we're here for an experience, man, a beautiful experience. And I intend on sharing many more with you guys and you know, being able to uplift the collective and have you guys understand that we're here to be beautiful. We're here to feel beauty and love and that's our natural source. That's the divine. The divine's inside. Smiles are divine. Anytime that you're doing this, you're doing something right. It's made within, man. It's not just the muscles that are flexing the teeth and the and the lips and all that, man, making you look good and feel good and feel beautiful. It's more, you know, this is a divine energy. And the fact that, you know, your everything that is on it, sexual energy is divine too. Like I can feel you know, when I'm aroused in my dreams, I could feel, uh, you know, if you have sex in your dreams, it's all divine. Smiles are divine. These are all things that are beyond time, that are beyond this form. This is something that the light and the chakra systems can feel. And I know it might feel, uh, you know, sound real esoteric to you or whatever, but I'm here to share, you know, some, you know, a different perspective on this place, man, and let you know that there is no wrong way, man. You have a right to every belief that you have, as long as it's coming with love and, you know, do on to others as you would yourself, man. Because you wouldn't want to hurt you, would you? You know, and I know some people, they have self-mutilation uh, things. And, like, this is where I feel we need to heal. You know, being able to heal yourself with love and heal those that need the love is going to really be able to make this place better. And that's where I feel the world can definitely be raised in vibration. I feel like that's what this uh, manifestation and fascination of growth of where I'm at can definitely help everybody, you know, become their best. And the more better you become, the more happy you are with yourself. You know, you essentially you got to accept that you're beautiful now. Say that. I am beautiful right now. And you got to feel that. You got to feel that love. And the more that you grow, the more that it's going to show, and the more it's going to reflect into your path. Because essentially making yourself better is going to have people be inspired. You're going to be like, wow, you know, you're going to inspire one person. That person might do one thing. And that's what this is all about, man, about sharing inspiration and, spread and sending that love. Because that's what's going to help the world, man. That's what's really what it's all about. Because your whole world is in here, man. If you want to keep it clear, that's where the beauty's going to appear. Don't get lost in other people's thoughts, man. you got to ask if these are yours or if they're somebody else's. Because I like to, you know, I, I, the, I believe that all things are possible. And thoughts could be just things that are just floating around and just grip, gripping to whatever conduit is, you know, wired for it. And, like, these are thoughts that are coming to my head. And... I feel the need to share them with you, and I feel beautiful for doing it. I really feel that, you know, all these thoughts aren't just my own. And, you know, this is really what's helping me in my type of meditation. You know, meditation isn't more or less of just, you know, sitting there and looking at a candle and, you know, just, and just chanting, which is something that I'll be, you know, incorporating in the near future more or less. But I just feel that, you know, the fact that I know that, I'm more than my body is really what the message of meditation is it's like that's what it is it's getting back to source it's getting out of your own head and you know I just had pretty much a meditative dream where I wasn't even in this anymore I was in another form and that's letting you know like all right man this is this there's, there's more to this there is more to this than what we're living, man. So let's just make this the best we can. Let's grow. Let's share. Let's send some love. Let's be positive. And, you know, there's no need to get lost in anything and get real tripped up on, you know, just deep conversations of nowhere. Just go with something that's somewhere. And somewhere is the heart, man. 
So I just want to tell you guys, you guys are beautiful. I love you guys, man. Make sure if you guys really want to help, you know, help if you want to help the world out and make the world a better place. The matrix hack that I always got to share is no matter who comes into your path, whoever you see, intend on that person to have a beautiful day. I intend on you to have a beautiful day. I intend on you to feel love and feel beautiful. Whatever words you got to say, just go ahead and put that out there because the fact that if all thoughts are just things, let's put out some beautiful things. So, you know, if you're in that room where there's a whole bunch of other energies going around, you give that positive energy. You don't even have to say nothing. You ain't even got to smile. Smile is divine. It's got to be natural. Feel good about the smile. Don't just smile at somebody for like, you know, like, oh, smiling. No, you got to own that smile. You got to be like, yeah, you know, how you doing? However it comes with your flow, that's how you got to do it. And just know, know that you're doing something right, that if somebody comes in your path, instead of thinking this, that, or the other about that person, any neutral thought, just think that, you know what, intend on that person to have a beautiful day. And just keep going along your way. And I guarantee you're going to make the matrix or wherever you're at in that particular time and that, that particular now a beautiful now. And that's what this is all about. And so with that, you guys want some one-on-one, -on -one, you know, make sure you guys sign up in the BCC, get in the social media, get in my DMs. You can have plenty more beautiful experiences to come. You know, make sure you ring the bell. Hey, yo. I didn't hear no bell. You know, I always got to do the sly reference, man. I love Rocky, Tommy Gunn. You got to know what it's all about. I'm a movie buff. Anything that can get me smiling, anything that can make you smile is a beautiful thing. It's the divine. It's what's inside. Reminding you guys that I intend on you guys to feel beautiful, to feel loved. And I intend on you guys to grow, man. I intend on that huge piece of meat to be swollen, swinging at the knees. And with that, I believe you guys are beautiful. Love you. Peace.